We all know the solar system is huge, but sometimes it's hard to actually put it into perspective of how huge it really is. I found this really cool website. If the moon were only one pixel, and I have the link in the description below so you can try it out yourself. It is a tediously accurate scale model of the solar system. And honestly, this website by far has shown how huge our solar system is and just how much space is in between stuff. It's really cool. And I wanna take you guys through that in this video. Okay, so here it is. If the moon were only one pixel, like I said, this is a really cool website and I, you guys gotta check it out. You gotta hit up that link in my description. Um, some guy named, I guess, Josh Worth made it and it is just so cool. So this is a, basically it's a model of uh, the universe and if the scale of the model is, is, is if the moon were only one pixel. So what you do is there's a scroll bar on the bottom and you just start scrolling, right? Scroll to explore. So we're gonna start scrolling. And it starts you starts us off right in the middle of the sun. So you see there's the sun. Okay, so here we go. Let's start scrolling away from the sun. So you can see the bottom, it's going by uh, kilometers. Uh, here's our first little stop. That was about 10 million kilometers that we just did. That was 10 million kilometers that we just flew through. I mean, already that's mind blowing. Okay, let's keep this going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Pretty empty out here. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is honestly insane, guys. Okay, here comes our first planet. Coming up. Get ready for it. Gotta keep scrolling a little bit more. And there we go. Mercury. Look how tiny Mercury is. There's Mercury. I mean, there was the sun. There's Mercury. Uh, let's keep going. Here we go. Just scrolling along here. As it turns out, things are pretty far apart. Yeah, exactly. I love the, the guy on this website. He's put in all these little quips and stuff like that. It's just so... It's awesome. Okay, we'll be coming up on a new planet soon. Sit tight. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. There it is. Venus. We have made Venus. So there's Venus. I mean, look how far that was from Mercury to Venus. And here's what I want to point out, guys, right now. Let's take a look at the scroll wheel, okay? Look at... We we're already at Venus, okay? Look at how much it's moved. Barely at all. I mean, that's that's your first sign of how insane this this whole process is. But really, you guys got to go and do this yourself to get the to, to get the full authentic effect. Okay, here we go. Uh, most of space is just space. True. Let's keep going. Halfway home. We're halfway to Earth. Beautiful. Getting there. Let's keep going. Boom. There we go. So there's the Earth. There's the moon. You are here. So there we go. So that's how far. I mean, does that not already feel like a lot? distance away from the sun um let's keep going let's go to mars so we're going we're going this is like it really gives you a sense of how far away Ma even mars is okay here we are we have reached mars we are at mars now i want to go all the way to jupiter and then we're going to do the mind-blowing thing that i'm telling you about sit back and relax jupiter is more than three times as far as we have just traveled i mean isn't that crazy from the sun to Mars, Jupiter is three times farther than that from Mars. So sit back and uh, let's do this one. Get to Jupiter. Uh, if you were on a road trip driving at 75 miles an hour, it would have taken you over 500 years to get here from Earth. Isn't that crazy? I mean, we're still going. We're literally still going. This is insane. Okay. All these distances are just averages, mind you. The distance between planets really depends on where the two planets are in their orbits around the sun. True. So if you're planning on taking a trip to Jupiter, you might want to use a different map. Yeah, I, I can tell. Look at this. We're still going. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, we finally made it. Jupiter. Holy Lord, that felt like a long time. Jupiter, there's Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto. That was insane. That was a long time. That was a very far distance. Let's look at the scroll wheel bar again. Compared to the entire thing, it's barely moved. It's moved about, I would, if I could say, I'd say it's like one sixth, one seventh, one eighth of like the entire distance. Okay. Now this is the most mind blowing thing that I want to show you guys. We were just moving at the speed of me holding down, um, holding down this, right? Scroll wheel. But 
What they actually have here is a light speed automatic distance scroll. So if you hit this, we're gonna go at light speed. We're gonna travel as fast as light speed and this, this blew my mind, okay? Get ready for this. Here we go, we're gonna travel at light speed starting now. Look at how slow this feels like we're moving. This is light speed. This is the fastest possible speed in the entire universe. And this is how fast we're going. Compared to my scroll wheel, I mean, look at this. Look at how fast it's moving. This completely was mind blowing because you're traveling to these planets you're, and you're using the scroll wheel. It's taking forever. It's taking forever. And then you're like, okay, let's go light speed. You go light speed and it's even slower. Look at this. It's actually crazy. Um, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> this is what I want to show you guys. I mean, to get a good sense of it, you got to do this yourself. You really do. You really have to do this yourself um, to get a great sense of it. And I mean, I think this is amazing. Josh Worth, you did a great job there, buddy. Uh, let me turn the light speed off. And I just want to travel just to show you how far, right? Let's travel all the way to Pluto, right? Another mind-blowing fact right here. This is amazing, right? This is truly mind-blowing again. So we're at Pluto. Um, so that would have taken 320 light minutes to get here. So what's 320 minutes in hours? I forget. Let's just do that really quick. 320 minutes in hours is five hours, right? So light, we would have taken five and a half hours if I did that light speed just to get to Pluto. So that's crazy alone. But then look at this. Look at this right here. Might as well stop now. We'll need to scroll through 6,771 more maps like this before we see anything else. I mean, how crazy is that? It's mind blowing. This, this is one of the coolest websites, guys, that I've ever experienced to show you, give you that sense of just how far apart things in our solar system are and just how huge space is. So links in the description. Give it a try. I hope you thought this video was cool. If you did, please uh, subscribe. Got a lot more space stuff coming out. Give this video a like. And uh, leave a comment on what you thought about that. Leave a comment on what you thought that whole light, light speed travel reveal was. Because to me, that was really cool. That was one of the coolest parts of this whole thing. So uh, until the next video, guys, we'll see you later.